Welcome to Keep Fit with Kim and Pilates in Pyjamas. Today's workout is a 15 minute Pilates workout. We're going to work the backs of our arms, our tummies and our bottoms. Let's get started. I'd like to start by getting our posture correct before we start the workout today. Let's start with the feet together. Toes out, heels out, feet are parallel. Spread your toes, weight evenly between the back and the front of the foot. Just gently rock backwards and forwards. Feel the weight in your toes, feel the weight in your heels, and try and even the weight across the feet. Now we're gonna take it side to side. Just feel what's going on side to side, and try and get that weight evenly balanced side to side. And then I'm gonna get you to have a quick look at what's going on with your pelvis. Bend your knees slightly. Tuck your pelvis under, stick your bottom out. Tuck your bottom under, stick your bottom out. Now have a quick peep down at your knees. Are they pointing straight forward over your toes or have you let them come in or even turn out? Now with this movement, I very easily stick my bottom out. I struggle the other way. Some of you are gonna to be totally the opposite to that. But what I want you to do Think of it as a bucket of sand, your pelvis here. As you go forward, you've got water or sand falling out the front. As you go back, it's coming out the back. And we want that to be level. When it's level, if you put a diamond shape with your hands on your pelvis, that will be straight up and down. If you're in the wrong position, you'll be tipped forward or tipped back. And we want that when we're on the floor as well as standing. Now, those feet are still hip width, aren't they? I want you to straighten up through the legs, tighten just a little bit above the knees and just quickly check down for me, or for you even, and check that you can see your feet. If you stand forward on your hips, you need to bring those legs back until you can see down. You might have to look over your chest if it's a little bit large, but hey. Now, tuck the pelvis under, make sure you've got that neutral spine so you've got that diamond directly up and down and engage your core so by engaging the core I'm going to ask you specifically to do the abdominal muscles by pulling your belly button back against your spine think of pulling in a tight pair of trousers zipping them up it's not just the front it's the whole lot and keep breathing for me well actually keep breathing for you because I don't want you to pass out by holding your breath so all the way through you need to make sure you're Breathing properly, nicely engaged core. Let's take those shoulders up, back and down. Just circle them gently. I'm not going to come to the top. I want you to just let them drop. Fingertips of the middle finger should be on the seam of your trousers. Core's engaged. Try and relax your buttocks slightly and retract your chin. So we're pulling straight back as if your chin's on a shelf, coming back. Now I challenge you to hold that one throughout the day. Only joking. You're not gonna hold it all the way out th throughout the day, but just think about that while you're doing your daily routines. If you're standing waiting in a queue, think about the different things I've talked about now. It will really help you out. We're gonna quickly do a Pilates roll down. Well, not quickly, gently do a Pilates roll down. Chin to chest, one vertebrae at a time coming down towards the floor. If that makes you feel giddy, or if you've got osteoporosis, you might wanna go down onto the floor in your own manner. And we're gonna be sitting with the hands pointing inwards, ready to do some tricep dips. Chin to chest, roll down one at a time. Bend the knees, put the weight on your hands, on your thighs if you need to. If you can keep the legs straight, that's lovely, roll down. And if you're comfortable, just hang there. If that's not good for you, then come straight down into the seated position. Many of the knees coming down to sitting. Forearms to the back, hands pointing in. Easy version is down and lift. For most of you, you'd come up here, bending the arms. That's a sort of intermediate version. So you have a choice. It's here. Elbows are going straight back. If that's uncomfortable on your hands, 
you can either put your hands on a block or come onto your fist, but make sure that your hands would be pointing forward or here. If you want to make it harder, you can take one or both legs out further away. I'm going to stay in the middle. to all fours so you have a choice here again hands are directly underneath the shoulders if that's uncomfortable on the fists knees directly under the hips watch you're not too close here open out and you're going to take your nose down towards the floor don't worry about which way your ankle elbow elbow ankles are going elbows are going even but if you want to make that harder you can take your hands a couple forward, come to here, and taking it down from there. I'm going to stay with the easier version today, as this is a beginner's session. Just adjust your hands. If that's uncomfortable, take them a little bit wider. And stretching back, stretch through the arms, hands on the mat. Feel that stretch through the arms, through the upper back, drop the head down. I'm taking my knees nice and wide, gives room for the chest in between. Okay, flipping back over onto the back, we're going to do a little bit of work for our tummies. Nice neutral spine. So, get a little bit of gap underneath. Bring the knees one at a time into the chest. And if you wish, lift your shoulders and head off the ground. This will make the exercise harder. Anytime it's too much, put your head back down. We're gonna do bicycle, bicycles. Feet are about hip width apart, so not too wide, feet, knees, and center of the hips in alignment. Take the arms back if you wish, and you can twist to the side. I'm leaning on my elbow, but if that is too much for you, by all means, keep it smaller, keep the head down, take the legs higher. So that's your easier version, is with the legs higher. You should be feeling it in your tummy. Harder version. Keep the elbows back. Try and think of taking the shoulder towards the knee rather than just the elbow. Hands are by the ears, so you're not pulling on your neck. Neck's nice and relaxed. If you need a rest, hug the knees in. Feet on the ground. Feet and knees together. You're going to drop your legs over to one side, bringing both feet up together. You can see the soles of my shoes, both shoes. Hold it there for a moment. Try and keep your shoulder down. Come back centre. Take it to the other side. Slowly hold it there. Keeping the other shoulder down. Lovely stretch through the waist, through the hips. Try and keep those knees together. Don't worry if they don't touch down, just as far as it comfortably goes. Top foot is fully away from the floor. Lovely. Well done. So now we're gonna do a little bit for our bumps. We're gonna bring your feet in close to your bottom. A little bit of gap between your knees, feet pointing forward, so watch you've not got your toes turned out. You're going to lift, squeeze, squeeze that bum. Try and relax the back of the thighs and just make it the bottom squeezing. Hold it at the top, arms come over. Just as far as they comfortably will, and back. When the hands hit the floor, the body come down and release. 
arch the back, push it back into the mat, roll back up, squeeze, four, three, two, I cheated, four more, four, three, two, arms come over, and back, try and relax the back of the thighs, squeezing that bottom tight, let's go once more with the arms, Once the arms hit the ground, roll back down, release the feet slightly, push the back into the floor and release. Just a little bit of movement in the lower back, releasing your back, well done. Bring those feet back in, let's go again. You're gonna lift, take the leg out in front, in, take it down. Lift, squeeze the bottom, lift the leg out straight. Now if you can't do that, just stay with a lift and hold instead. So there's an option there. If it's hard enough for you to get to this position, when you do this, the hips should stay level. So if your hip is dropping, you need to stay with the previous version, which would be lift, hold, down and down. Lift, hold, down and down or lift, extend the leg, in line with the other leg, in and down, hook the knees into the chest. Let's roll the back into the mat. Okay, coming back onto all fours. Arching through the back. and camel. Let's do a few stretches. Right arm onto the left shoulder. Just let it slide as you push against the fleshy part of the arm. And then taking that arm up. Let it drop down the back. And just push against the arm here. Or if you're able, you can hold it here or even clasp behind, but only if you can comfortably reach. We want to be giving that muscle a stretch by pushing here. Make sure it's comfortable on the joint. Change arms. Left arm, right shoulder. Let that hand slide as you push the hand across, feeling the stretch through the shoulder. And release, taking that arm up. Drop it down the back and you can you might be here, but push wherever it'll go, all on the top, making sure it's not uncomfortable on the joint. And again, I'm gonna show you what I mean by holding it behind. We wanna hold this for a short time. If you can hold, you need to be holding. I'm pulling quite hard, my fingers clasp, so that I'm feeling that stretch. More important to get the stretch than actually being able to touch the hands behind. Some people never can, it depends on the length of your arms flexibility in your shoulders, in your arms, and so forth. Okay, next exercise, next stretch even. Arms are gonna come out in front. You can clasp your fingers. I like to put them one across in front of the other, and your hands will be shoulder height. I'm going to move from that position. You can stay seated or come standing. I'm gonna turn my hands down so you can see. I'm pulling my hands away. Then I'm taking my elbows out under tension to feel the stretch across the back of my neck. I'm gonna come up right. Hands are about in line with the neck with that sort of O shape, as if you're hugging a tree or a ball, you take the head forward as if you're hugging, if you're hugging, as if you're going over the top of a grapefruit or a small ball, and look down between the hands. Feel that stretch in the back of the neck. Well done. So for the next one, whether you're seated or standing, try and keep the pelvis as still as possible. Take the arms behind. I'm gonna put them into the middle of my back, and I'm gonna stretch back so I feel a stretch across the chest. Well done. Let's take the hands one on top of the other. You can clasp the fingers again if you like and reach up. Stretching over to the right. Try and keep the arms by the ears if you can and think of going up and slightly to the side. I want you to feel the stretch through the side and slightly through the back, the side of the back even. Come back centre and over to the other side. And release. Coming back down. 
Well done, that's all for this week. I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.